Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the comparison uh, between the various moths and this question has come up because not everyone has a legacy Venomoth uh, and the question is can you run a return Venomoth, can you run a psychic Venomoth or can I run the infamous Dustox. Let's go ahead and take a look at the comparison between these two Pokemon. As you can see Venomoth has quite a bit higher attack stat at 125.3 when optimized compared to 89.3 for Dustox and we see that Dustox does make up for some of it with a way higher defense of 139 almost 140 uh, compared to 109 for Venomoth and you'll see that Dustox also has 134 HP compared to 131 uh, for Venomoth. Venomoth has a higher stat product, but in this case, unlike many other cases, it does not it is not more bulky. Dustox is more bulky and that's certainly gonna play into some of the matchups that we're gonna see in a little bit. Uh, when we compare the charge moves, uh, I'm gonna assume that all of them are running Confusion and Silverwind. Uh, so their second charge move, uh, one option is Return, uh, which you get from uh, Team Go Rockets. Uh, in 40 energy, 50 damage, 1.25 DPE. Uh, when we take a look at Sludge Bomb, which is the most energy efficient, 50 energy, 80 damage, 1.6, 1.92 after stab, and that's only available to Dust Stocks. Uh, Poison Fang, uh, 35 energy, 40, 40 damage, 1.14 before stab, and then 1.37 after stab. So it's actually uh, a more energy efficient. Uh, move then then return almost does the same amount of damage as return and then you'll see psychic uh, 55 energy 90 damage 1.64 uh, with a 10 percent chance of a defense uh, debuff which if you can land it and get it that's that's really amazing and uh, it's gonna lead to those confusions doing a ton of damage uh, when we compare the moss versus the entire timeless uh, available pokemon uh, we'll see that We'll see that in the zero shields, uh, all the moths perform roughly the same, not a, a too big of a dramatic uh, difference. Uh, Psychic has the least losses, uh, but you'll see that Dustox has quite a few losses. Um, and, that, and that's because even though it has Sludge Bomb, which is the most energy efficient, um, probably hardest hitting move uh, out of all, all these um, moves here, uh, it's because of its way lower attack stat, it actually makes it like not that great of a closer. Uh, and we'll see in the one shield, uh, Poison Fang really separating itself uh, from the rest of the pack. And we'll see that in the two shields uh, as well. Um, the ability to shield bait uh, with Poison Fang and be able to do it after uh, three confusions is, is a really uh, big advantage when it comes to shields up against the entire available list of Pokemon. Uh, but what we're more interested in is, is zero shields uh, versus the restricted meta. Um, so we'll see that in the zero shields, uh, Dusthawks actually performs worse, and that's expected because it performs the worst against the entire meta. And we'll see that Psychic actually slightly outperforms uh, the the other three uh, by being able to pick up the Frostlass and the and the opposing uh, Venomoth. Uh, in this case, this Venomoth has Poison Fang uh, and Silverwind. And I am using... Uh, the default uh, custom group that, uh, which is a weird thing to say, default custom, but default custom group that PV Poke has listed, so you can go ahead and check that out on their website. Uh, but you'll see that Poison Fang does pick up uh, the uh, the Blaziken matchup because it's able to hit the Poison Fang one turn before uh, Blaziken can get to a, a Blaze Kick, which would uh, KO Venomoth. And we'll see in the One Shield matchup, uh, again, we see Venomoth and Dustox really set, setting out uh, from from each other. Uh, you'll see that with the Poison Fang, be able to bait and be able to land Silverwind where, where appropriate or use Poison Fang where it's appropriate. Um, you'll see that uh, each of them, uh, poison, uh, Venomoth, poison Fang, Venomoth, and Dustox are able to pick up the Sceptile, Kingdra, and Shelgon matchup. So they're able to pick up the Dragon matchups, which is, which is pretty important. Uh, and they're able to also beat, um, well, Poison Fang Venomoth is able to beat Typhlosion uh, and Swampert. And Swampert's a pretty important matchup to, to be able to pick up. It does rely on the Poison Fang shield bay, but it's it's not an option that's available for the, the other Venomoths uh, or, or Deskox. And we'll see in the two shield matchup, it gets a little bit more 
chaotic. Uh, Psychic actually, unfortunately, does not pick up the Meganium matchup, and that's likely because when it comes to Venomoth, there's no ability to bait uh, to be able to ultimately land the Silverwind, which is a move that you want to land. Um, the Venomoths pick up Dust uh, Typhlosion, which uh, Dust Ox does not um, return, and Psychic pick up uh, Banette. Uh, and but that's mostly because of the timing of the charge moves, uh, which is the reason why Poison Fang doesn't pick it up. Uh, we also see that uh, Poison Fang in return pick up Blastoise, not an overly important one, Glalie. Uh, and then Poison Fang is also able to pick up Lantern if it's able to to land two Poison Fang baits. Again, and that's something that's not available to to these other Venomoths. Uh, but we see Dustox, uh, because of its additional bulk, is able to out, out bulk or use its bulk to outlast Kingdra uh, and Shelgon uh, with their very oppressive Dragon Breath damage. So what's what's uh when we take a look at the overall summary uh, against the meta? You'll see that Psychic performs the best in the close, and we kind of expect that. Psychic uh, is going to be the hardest hitting out of any of these moves when you pair the, the attack stat and the move set combination together. Uh, picking up one more matchup compared to Poison Fang, and two matchups compared to Return, and five compared to, to Sludge Bomb. Uh, but you'll see in the one shield, uh, Poison Fang uh, does stand out above the rest. Very close is uh, Dust Talks with Sludge Bomb. And we'll see that return Venomoth in the two shields is able to to pick up that matchup. Uh, but my overall conclusion is po Poison Fang is by far the most consistent move set, as it has stab damage relevant to the meta and the ability to shield bait. Uh, so it's going to open up more more matchups and more potential. Uh, but you also have to factor in that you're going to have a lower IV one and some of those close matchups may flip or you may not win some matchups as dominating. So the ability to carry forward that. So take that into consideration. Uh, Return has the best two shield matchup against the meta and Psychic has the best closing matchup. So you're really going to have to play it out slightly differently. Largely, you know, it's going to be there for uh, anti-grass, um, which is its main role. Um, but Psychic is going to allow you to if you're down to zero shields, landing a second is going to do a lot more damage than landing a Poison Fang um, or, or a Return. Dustox has relatively strong performance with shields up uh, when compared to Venomoth, but has very poor performance when shields are down due to its low attack stat, despite the relatively strong Sludge Bomb. Even the Sludge Bomb, a pretty good move. Uh, it's not able to, to do uh, that well and be able to really take a, a Pokemon uh, with with just the confusions leading up to to Sludge Bomb or Silverwind. So hopefully you find that helpful. Uh, Venomoth, a really, you know, specialized Pokemon. Uh, Poison Fang is going to allow you to to be a little bit slightly more of a generalist in all shields uh, scenario. Uh, Return can can be helpful. Psychic is going to leave you a little bit vulnerable when, when shields are up. And Dustox... Uh, is is going to leave you vulnerable when shields are down. So hopefully that's helpful. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.